So you saved some money, brought a drawing tablet, and now the pressure sensitivity isn't working. What is up, guys? I'm Ronit back again, and in today's video, we'll be discussing just about that coming up. So before starting off with the video, a quick disclaimer that if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, you're doing a huge disservice to the art community. So consider subscribing, smash the subscribe button, turn on the notifications so that you don't miss anything. So yeah, enough with that. Let's get started with the main video. If your pressure sensitivity with your graphic tablet isn't working, then most likely the issue is coming from either of the three components. That is, either the defect is in your drawing tablet itself, or maybe it's in your software which you're using, or, or it is your PC. And hence, we'll be discussing about all of them respectively with their common solutions. So first of all, if the problem is coming from your tablet, the easiest way is to unplug it from your PC and replug it USB cord back to its USB port. In most of the cases, this solves the problem. And if the pressure sensitivity is still not working, it might have been caused by not, not installing the driver properly. So make sure when you're installing your driver, any other tablet's driver which you have already been using is uninstalled. And also when you download your driver, it is not coming from a third party website. It should be from your official website of the company. And the last thing is while you're installing your driver, all of your drawing applications or any application in general should be closed and should not be running in the background. And in case you're pretty sure that the driver is properly installed and the problem doesn't lie in the driver, what you can do is you can tick the Windows inking option. However, the game mode is turned off which is there in many drawing tablets, it basically turns off the pressure sensitivity in order to increase the line accuracy of your drawing tablet. It is basically used by gamers who buy these tablets for playing games like, like OSU or any other game. It's not something you will need if you're using this for creating digital artwork. So another thing you can do in order to check that the problem does not lie in the tablet or in your PC is that inside your driver, there is a small area, testing area, where you can see and test your pressure sensitive lines. If the lines you make over there are properly precise and pressure sensitive, that means the problem is more likely to lie inside the software or the drawing software you're using and not the PC, not the driver. Now coming to the software, as I mentioned, so basically using a software which supports pressure sensitivity is really, really important. Because if it doesn't support pressure sensitivity, then obviously you won't be able to draw anything. But on the brighter side, most of the drawing softwares like Krita, Photoshop, Gimp, Paint Tool, Sai, or uh, Medibang, or any other drawing software are already pre-equipped with this functionality. However, you might not be able to access it if you have changed the settings accidentally while, while toying around with the default settings of your software. So in order to check whether your pressure sensitivity is properly working in your software, what you can do is in case you're using Krita, you can go into the settings, configure Krita, and in there you have this tablet setting option. This shows a sort of a pressure sensitive curve. Make sure that your curve looks just like this. Zero at the lowest and one at the highest. And in case it is messed up or if you have messed up any other settings of Krita, you can just press this restore to default button or you can just restore Krita as a whole. However, for Photoshop, what you can do is you can just press this stop button over there to toggle on and off your pressure sensitivity. And in case you're coming from any other drawing software, which I've not mentioned, I'll make sure that I provide respective links to solve these common problems within these softwares in the description below. Now, in case you have made this far into this video, so I'm pretty sure the problem might not lie within the software section of the problem. It might be in the hardware. So the easiest fix would be to restart your computer because sometimes whenever you boot your PC up, it might mess up your driver while starting up. So rebooting will definitely help you a lot. Just simply restart. I will consider this a very good option. Also try setting up the computer's sleep setting to never because it will prevent your PC from sleeping whenever you're not operating into it. So basically you wake it up from sleep mode. It might not properly work with a driver. So it can mess up the sensitivity as well as accuracy. And if you still end up getting stuck with your no pressure sensitivity issue till the end of this video, then boy oh boy, you need to contact your drawing tablet manufacturer, which you should have done in the first place before clicking this video. Yeah, that were some of the common solutions you can use to fix your no pressure sensitivity 
in your drawing tablet. So as I said, you can subscribe, you can turn on the notifications for all the latest content updates. And yeah, you can comment down if you have any video ideas, comments, suggestions. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, peace.